Welcome back to another episode of Local Search Tuesdays. We're still talking about Google My Business this week, but this time I'm sharing an advanced level tip to help you choose the right primary category. So let's get right to it. Most people don't realize that your primary GMB category carries more weight in the local algorithm. For the non-SEO nerds out there, that means there's more value associated with that primary category, so you're more likely to show up in local searches for that phrase. Most businesses out there simply tick off the applicable categories when they set up their Google My Business listings without putting any thought into the order of the categories. Since the first category has more weight, you should be more strategic with your category choices. Let's use a Ford dealership as an example. If you're a Ford dealer in the Dallas market, you're competing against a lot of other Ford dealers in the local area. You'd want to list Ford dealer as your primary category since that's where you're competing the most for customers. You want to be the winner when someone searches Ford dealer anywhere in the area. But what if your dealership is out in the sticks? If you're a Ford dealer in a more rural area and there's not another Ford dealer for 50 or 60 miles in any direction, you wouldn't put Ford dealer in the primary slot. With no competition, you'd automatically rank number one for Ford dealer searches in a pretty wide radius. Instead, you'd want to put used car dealer in the primary category slot since your main competition would be the other new car dealers and all the used car dealers in your area. Keep in mind, the primary category is the only one that carries additional weight. Every other category is equal in value. Like I mentioned in a video a few weeks ago, your Google My Business profile is basically your new home page, and it's critical for success in local searches. If you're more strategic with your primary category choice, you'll have a leg up on the competition for your most competitive search term. So that's it for this week's video, which means it's that time. Put your hand on the screen right here. We totally just high five because you learned something awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week for another episode of Local Search Tuesdays.